Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me again, the Comic Fool, uh, with another video. Uh, this one's for Longshank seventy eight one hundred sub contest, and um, his sub his sub contest is on fifteen villains on fifteen covers. So uh, yeah, let's get started with this video. Oh, and uh, just wanted to congratulate you on the uh, one hundred subs uh, and increasing right now. So congrats to you. Um, yeah, man, let's get this started. All right. Let's see, uh, first off is, uh, let's see, first off is Superman Unchained number six. This is actually uh, one of my favorite covers. Um, I just like all the detail on Superman, you know, he's getting beat up by uh, this villain right here. Um, his name's Wraith. I uh, first appeared in the, I think, the first issue of Superman Unchained. Uh, totally new, new villain. Um, and I believe he's, uh, it's been a while since I read this series. I believe he was also from Krypton. Um, so he knew uh, Superman's origin. He's a lot older than Superman. Um, but yeah, he was a really cool villain. Um, if you have a chance, you know, check him out if you haven't seen him yet. But uh, yeah, I would just Google him. He's He looks really awesome, like, you know, the way they, they drew him out. So uh, yeah, one of my favorite covers right here. Next one is Fantastic Four number two forty three. This is the uh, a uh, Galactus appearance. Uh, looks like he's fighting the Fantastic Four and uh, some of the Avengers and uh, Doctor Strange. Um, I kind of wish that the uh, movie would have made Galactus look more like the uh, comic book character instead of looking like a mass of you know black cloud um, trying to eat up the world. It was still cool, but um, Kind of wish he looked more like this. But, yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite, uh, you know, I guess you could say um, galactic villains or something like that. Um, just, uh, I remember picking up the, the series Hunger. Um, that was about Galactus, you know, and then uh, the Avengers trying to destroy him with the Fantastic Four. So, uh, yeah, that was a really cool, cool read. Um, yeah, this cover is nice, though. Uh, next one is Spectacular Spider-Man number 190. Uh, this is an appearance of the Rhino. I uh, really like this cover. Really uh, really liking the art and the uh, color to it. Um, I believe it's by... Hmm, not, uh, yeah, I don't even know who the, the artist is. Sal Bu Bu Buchema, something like that. I'm not too sure. I'm not too familiar with that artist, but... Uh, yeah, I really liking, uh, I actually like the inside art better, how they drew them out from the outside. Looks, looks really cool. But, uh, yeah, the cover's really nice. He's squeezing the hell out of Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, liking that cover. Uh, no, my next one is Wolverine number two. This is, uh, I think this was the second appearance of Sil Silver Samurai. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like Silver Samurai a lot. When he fights against Wolverine, um, wish the fight in the movie. Uh, what was it? Uh, I forgot what the the Wolverine movie was called. Um, where he fights Silver Samurai in Tokyo or in Japan. Um, but yeah, anyways, I wish it would have been a lot more like uh, like the comic books. You know, there's like a crazy long you know fight. Uh, so yeah, really liking this cover also. Really sick. Nice. Uh, next one is Age of Ultron, book one. This uh, this cover is really nice. I one of my favorite covers I have. It's holographic. It's uh, looks like he's destroyed most of the Avengers. Um, and it looks like you have Hawkeye standing right there in front of him, trying to shoot him. Um, I guess before Ultron <laughs> kills him off, also. Um, another reflection comic book. I like those too, just like in like what you said. Um, I like those comic books where the villain, the uh, superhero is reflecting off the villain's face. It's really awesome. But yeah, loving this cover right here. Had to get the holographic version. Or I think this was the only, I think this is the regular cover. Um, I think so. Anyways, really cool cover. <laughs> Uh, next one is Green Lantern number four. This is an appearance of uh, 
well, I mean, he's been appearing in all of the uh, single, all of the issues from 1 through, I forgot, 12 or something like that. Uh, appearance of Sinestro. Looks like this is where he gets the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, <laughs> the, I forgot what ring that was, uh, the gold ring, or, um, but yeah, this is really cool, um, really awesome cover right there, I like how Sinestro's, uh, he has his, you know, fist up in the sky, and, uh, and then you see that gold, the, uh, golden lantern, or not, uh, I forgot what it was called, but yeah, you know, you know what I mean, um, but yeah, I was actually connect collecting the uh, Sinestro series, but uh, I kind of stopped on that because, you know, I was collecting too much of the other comic books, so, uh, I mean, I had to limit myself. But yeah, really liking this cover also with Sinestro. Next one is Batman 43, uh, first appearance of Mr. Bloom. I uh, really like this villain, even though they haven't really showed his, um, his origin yet. Um... But yeah, really liking this villain and this cover. It's really sick. Uh, yeah. Next one is X Factor number 24. First appearance of Archangel. Another cool villain. He's actually going to be in the new movie also. Uh, he's part of the uh, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what he's like in the movie. Um, oh, next one is another X Factor. This is number six, first appearance of Apocalypse. I kind of don't like how they, um, they, how they made the Apocalypse in the new movie that's going to come out, uh, 2016. I kind of don't like how they made him look. He doesn't look anything like the, like the, uh, you know, like the comic book villain. Um, I mean, somewhat, he does in a way, but not really. He looks complete. he just looks different. He doesn't look like, um, like Thanos, like how they made him out. They made him exactly like the comic books. But uh, Apocalypse, I don't know, until I see a trailer, maybe they CGI'd him or something like that. I'm um, not sure, but I hope they don't mess up this movie. <laughs> uh, but yeah, first appearance of Apocalypse. Uh, next one is the Infinity Gauntlet number one. This is uh, an appearance of Thanos. Um, I'm liking this cover a lot. There's a lot going on. You see all the Avengers. You see um, Lady Death. You see uh, Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, this is just an awesome cover. And I got it signed by George Perez as well back in uh, Comic Con 2014. Um, yeah, I really liking this cover a lot. One of my favorite villain covers. Oh yeah, and see how uh, they kind of uh, made, in the movie, Thanos looks just like this Thanos, you know, the comic book Thanos, uh, except with different armor on, but he looks really, really, really awesome, so yeah, can't wait to see that movie. Uh, next one is uh, DC Comics Presents uh, Superman and Man Man or Man Manhunter for Mars, but it's supposed to be uh, Martian Manhunter, uh, number 27. This is the first appearance of Mongol. Really awesome villain. He's just as strong as Doomsday and, you know, those other villains like Thanos. Uh, I guess you would say Darkseid as well. Uh, but, yeah, he's up there. Uh, yeah, really cool. Really cool cover right there. Uh, next one is uh, similar to what you had in your, uh, in your collection. Uh, this is uh, Batman Venge Vengeance of Bane, number one, first appearance of Bane. Really liking this cover, and yeah, I kind of don't like how they made him look in the New 52 series. Um, as well as in the movie, you know, the Dark Knight Rises. He um, he was buff, but he, he was about the same size as Batman, so, you know. Um, and then I have another one right here, Batman 497. This is the breaking of the Batman. So I'm really liking this cover a lot. Looks like he's in Batman's cave right there. And, um, you know, you can tell from the dinosaur. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's this is how, you know, that villain should have been portrayed in the movie. He should have been a lot bigger and, you know, uh, just like the comic books. But I still like the movie. It's one of my favorite movies, so can't 
can't say anything bad about that. But yeah, one of one of my favorite villains too. Um, actually, a lot of DC villains they got me introduced to collecting DC comic books. I was more of a Marvel fan, just like you. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of DC villains they they're much darker than Marvel villains, I believe. So, yeah, really cool. One of my favorite villains. Um, and my next one is uh, New Teen Titans number twenty two. This is the second appearance of Brother Blood. Um, I have his first appearance, but you can't really see him too well on the first appearance cover. But um, I really like this uh, villain, just how he was portrayed in the uh, Arrow series. Um, how he uh, came up to, you know, becoming a mayor. He used all these people. Uh, you know, he tried to do, tried to make it look like he was doing good for the city, but then it was just to become mayor so he can get more power over the city. But, um, yeah, I really like this cover a lot. Uh, next one is The Amazing Spider-Man 101, first appearance of Morbius. Um, another villain, another one of my favorite villains. Um, I like when all these villains, you know, they're like doctors and, um, you know, they're like really smart. There's something, uh, how do you say it? Like, they went to school for something, you know what I mean? And then they become like evil, um... So I I, I kind of like those type of villains too, kind of like Doc Ock. Um, but yeah, really cool. Looks like Spider-Man's being bitch slapped there. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, New Teen Titans number two. This is actually one of I think one of my top two favorite villains. Uh, it's got to be either Bane or Deathstroke. This is the first appearance of Deathstroke. Uh, really liking this cover a lot. There's a lot going on in there, just like the uh, that Ultron cover. But yeah, also this one got this one signed by George Perez back in 2014. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, I guess I'll be seeing you around in your you know next comic comic haul videos. And um, yeah, congrats on the subs and uh, take care, man.